What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to get into a moon photo. Now, I just happened to jump on this one article, and it's from China. And it states how they want to have a radar station on the moon. And I'm thinking, radar station on the moon? Now, we've done radar images of the moon, right? We had sent a signal from Arecibo and received it here at the Fairbanks Radio Telescope here in West Virginia. So I'm wondering how they're going to do that, but immaterial. Let me show you the page we're talking about. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the actual photo, and it's a NASA photo, by the way, show you one little inconsistency, how weird that thing looks on uh, on the surface of the moon. And then we're going to go to Photoshop. I'm going to do a full enhancement. And folks, some of the details on there, mm, not lunar surface, not natural. Is it on the lunar surface? Absolutely. But it's just not natural, and I think you folks will agree. Let's just get right into that. All right, you can see it right here. You can see China scientists study viability of manned radar station on the moon. Go to the underneath of this photo, and it says this file photo shows a NASA image of the lunar surface. China is investigating locating a radar base on the moon. And like I said, I don't know how they're going to do that. Because like I said, we had a transmitter slash receiving station, right? Yeah, I'll give you the article, of course. You guys will get the photo, and you can uh, check this out. Okay, so let me show you this little piece right here. I'm just going to use the magnifier. Right there, what is this piece? Because just underneath this white piece, you can see what looks like a, almost like a grayer piece, but smooth. Now, this is kind of grainy when you magnify it, but you get the idea. Half of that white piece has been covered up, and you can see that. Where it's whiter on the right-hand side, not so much on the left. You can see where they, like, airbrushed over that, right? So right off the bat, I thought, hmm, interesting. The other parts I want to show you, folks, is, like, in this area right here. There's some very interesting-looking pieces here. I believe these to be moon structures, and you're going to see what I mean. Let's just hop into Photoshop and have a better look. All right, so here's the photo right here. This is the original. Uh, even this right here, folks, you can just go to this lower right corner, almost the whole right corner, but you can see right here. I don't have to do a thing to this photo. There's something sticking out of this particular crater right there. Something way down here in this one, on the very right bottom in the corner, right here. Let's just zoom in a hair bit more and just have a look at both of these. Okay? Again, not doing a thing to this photo. I think it looks pretty interesting. The one on the left, on the upper left, appears to be a structure sticking out. If we back up a little bit, and over to this main area, I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen for you folks. Right here. I see these weird objects just standing right out. And they don't look like craters, folks. Let's go to the full enhancement. Okay. Again, let's get rid of all of the washout. Let's get rid of all of the BS. Try to cut through some of the blurring and so on and so forth, right? Let's have a look. All right. Right in the middle of the screen. This is the one I was just showing you. Now, folks, I mean, come on. I'm looking at just this area alone. It appears to be a crater, and these objects are on the crater wall. Just look at some of these weird anomalies right here, okay? Have a look with your magnifier if you're on a small device, right? This object right here, it appears to be some kind of machine or structure of some sort. Now, some people will argue this. They'll say, well, I don't know why that would be a structure. Well, here's the thing. Let's suppose for argument's sake, because you can see the white around this darker area, right? And it looks like you have this U-shaped looking object here on the left-hand side, right? Here's my argument. If you have something in the center of this uh, crater, this darn big, would that not leave a lot bigger crater? And the answer would be yes. Even if it came in at a slow speed, it would leave something bigger than that. And yet, that's not the case. Slide over to the right, where we're looking at those other objects. These two objects alone, just have a good look at your magnifier, or if you're on a big screen, just have a look. This is not natural. This is not done by some kind of rock hitting the moon. This is something more. 
You can look at some of these other little areas here. Just go up a little bit here on the screen. There's things inside these craters, folks, and I don't think they're natural at all, right? I believe a lot of these are actual structures. Objects protruding out of some of these flat platforms, like this little object right here. Now, this one's very unclear. You can't really see it that well, but the ones on the bottom right hand of this photo, look at this. Come on. There's something way in the background here. This gets really cool. This object or objects right there. Look at how cool this thing looks. It's clearly on a platform. And you can see this thing protruding up. Off this platform. What is that? You can see that this thing has an edge. This platform has this weird, almost like the stop sign shape to it. Okay. This object right here, I don't even know what to make of this. Keep in mind, folks, a lot of this has been hidden uh, from the public, okay? You can see something's very rectangular. It's got a white wall from the left to right. Now, let's get rid of that. You've got little pieces here in front. Right here. What could this object be? Or is it multiple objects? The back is a complete distortion, if you look at the original. Look at this. It's whited out for a reason, folks. It, this is not because of sunlight, I promise you. This is much, much more than that. They're really hiding whatever is in this photo. And this is the object I showed you folks earlier, where it's half covered up. But have a look at the little object right here on the left-hand side of it. You can see this, what looks like a little object on top of a flat area, okay? This has got so much manipulation and obfuscation on it to hide whatever they don't want you to see that it's just sad. It really is. It's frustrating, right? But there's so much more here, folks. Some of these smaller objects down here. You've got something right here on the left-hand side, although not very clear. You can see what looks like some objects connecting with others. Like this area right here, if I was to go like this, and show you, check this out. It looks like you got a larger square object or whatever it is with a round circle going over to something smaller with another small object right there. Okay. And again, not very clear. So it's kind of hard to tell what these things are. But every one of these, at least most, if not all, appear to be some kind of structure. This one right here. Not sure what to make of this thing. But these have to be pretty darn big. I'm not saying humongous, but you know what I mean? They're good size objects. Again, folks, I don't believe any of this is natural. It's not done by a rock. Here's another object right here. Or objects. It simply makes no sense. It's on the rim of this crater. There's two or three objects right there. What could this possibly be, folks? other than something unnatural, right? Folks, I'm going to leave it right right about here. This way you can get it all in there. Just pause it right here. Have yourself a good look at all these anomalies. And folks, I didn't tell you about all of them. There's a ton of little things in this photo that scream intelligently made. And there you go. Now, folks, when I see this stuff right off the bat, not natural. There's no way a rock simply hit this and made these formations. They look like structures. And you can just tell that they're trying to hide these things because what are they doing? They're washing these photos out. They're manipulating them, obfuscating them. They're trying to hide it from the people. So the funny thing about it is if you look at a good LRO photo, you can see clarity. In other words, something that's not in those particular areas, they're crystal clear, right? You can see the mountain range. You can see everything with clarity. And then you get these washed out photos. It's not because of a sunny day. It's because they're trying to block out and wash out what they don't want us to see. It's as simple as that. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share it. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, i got more photos coming up. I've been wanting to get these out. So we're going to rock and roll these and get them out for you. And by the way, folks, we may be having a live feed this weekend, uh, Sunday. Just look at the uh, community section page and you'll know that I'm actually going to have the live feed because... Uh, uh, it's been a while since we've done one, other than uh, just lately when we had Thomas as well as Will on. 
So uh, stay tuned for that. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.